Hey guys, so this is the first time where we try to do this live stream on this live streaming page. I don't really know how it works and I don't know if it pops up so you can see this live stream in the same way as it does on a normal Facebook uh, page. So this is going to be a tryout. Yay! <laughs> Somebody saw it. Amazing. Hi. Okay. So, um, the reason that we going to make this live stream today is that I would really love to look into the perception of what it means to be connected with everything that is. I wrote this text about it not so, f not so long ago, um, about us being a part of Mother Earth and... <laughs> We are afraid that we are ruining her, but, but the truth is the ones that we are ruining in is ourself, because she will survive. She's strong, she's beautiful. We are basically small bacteria moving around on top of her, which is also really beautiful. So there's good bacteria, there's bad bacteria, and we can more or less choose which one of them we want to be. Everything is vibrations, everything is frequencies, everything we are in the physical form is vibrations and frequencies, everything we send out is vibrations and frequencies. So if we do it on a fist, take it from a physical level and perspective first, then your body is full of cells, of bacteria and cells. If you take any animal that exists, it's exactly the same thing. If you um, look into the vibrations of the trees or the plants, it is all moving with this frequency of physical matters that we can call bacteria, cells, particles, etc. So in the physical form, we are all part of the whole. Another thing is that what is ever flowing is water. And within water is consciousness. Within water... <laughs> as we are living on the blue planet, we are all connected. We are 70% of water, and the plants are full of water, the meat is full of water, the animals are full of water, the sea, everything is a part of that flow. Because we are living on the blue planet, we are part of this blue planet. So... One thing is that we are connected as one. Another thing is the level of consciousness, the level of vibrations and affection. And affection. <laughs> it's also represented in water. There's been some of these scientific uh, thingies, scientific uh, stories, where they play music for the water and you can see the constructions, the structures in the water. Meaning water has feelings. Or water has reactions. So if you imagine that you're doing that inside of yourself all the time. You will constantly affect yourself with the emotions that you hold. That means that that's how you feel. That's what you become. That's what you send out. And as we are all part of the whole. Then you become that vibration for the earth. You are... Being that part for the planet. So, <laughs> so I'm always talking a lot about this thing. Uh, that we need to be conscious. We need to be conscious but not that fear drive us. So we have to be conscious about all the good and the bad. But not go into the state of fear and let the fear control us. Because then we are creating that motion and emotion within oneself. So what we want to do <laughs> is be conscious, be aware. There was somebody asking me last week, but should we just do nothing then? Should we just uh, look while the world is going under? <laughs> no, of course not. But we need to understand the meaning of vibration on image. We need to understand the power of the energy that we are and that we send out. So if we become conscious about things, of course we have a reaction. We can be angry, we can be sad, etc. Allow it to flow through your system so you become free of it within oneself. And then from that on, you take responsibility for yourself. 
take responsibility for the who you are, for what you send out, how you are to the people around you, how you are to everything that is living. <laughs> we are always talking about in this uh, whole resistance uh, movement. There has been since the 60s. No, I don't know. But if you look at it, it's always a lot of, here we are, standing proud. We are standing up for humanity. Do, 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 do. Which is cool. It's good to make a statement. But when we are driven by anger, when we are driven by, I am more right than they are, then the vibration that we hold, it is not pure. The vibration we hold is no better than the other guy. So when we look into world wars, we look into religions, we look into spirituality, there's a lot of conflicts about what is right and what is wrong. There's a lot of conflicts about what is humanity and what is not. How can you behave? How can't you behave? But the truth is, the underlying truth is underneath these rules and perspectives, what humanity is still doing is that we are blaming each other, we are judging each other, and we are in some sort of state of belief that I hold the truth. Vibrationally, there is no difference if you are the religion man, the spiritual teacher, or the karate trainer in the boxing club. So, what do we do? We find out what is true within ourselves. We respect other people have a different perspective. Well known that underlying all this perspective, we are all one. We all have the same goal. But when we are too much driven by anger or resistance, we can't see anything. And we can't change the world because what we then become a vibrationally match to is exactly that, that we do not wish to create. So <laughs> when I look at religions, it's always a beautiful subject. I see the essence of all religions are the same. I see the essence of all religion is a matter of love and the kingdom within so it has been twisted by the ego of man and in thousands of different languages and from that we create this disconnection and some people can use it as a control tool because a way to control anything you know even know it if you are a farmer how do you make sure that the horse is not leaving the farm? You make it afraid of crossing the fence. How do you tell your kids to not burn their hands? You say, you may not burn your hand, then blah, blah, blah. So what we actually do is we create a society. We create a society based on fear and control instead of freedom and trust. So... <laughs> If we truly want to be free people, we have to start with ourselves. It, it really has not much effect that we say we want to save the world. And we talk about how much it truly matters and fighting for it. When the vibration we hold ourselves is in resistance and in anger. It is driven by fear. That's not how it works. <laughs> so to save ourselves because we will be the one who will leave before Mother Earth and to reconnect with the blue planet we need to start with ourselves we need to start with feeling within ourselves the choices that we make on a day-to-day -day basis need to recognize need to learn to recognize <laughs> the oneness in everything there is it can be the trees on the street, it can be the homeless guy, it can be the little puppies, or it can even be the water. It can be what you eat, it can be what you do. So, to blame other people from using plastic bags, for example, is also not the way ahead. Because 
is it so much more wrong to use a plastic bag than cut a tree down to use bamboos? So the thing is, we need to take a step back from all the perceptions and perspectives and um, look inside. What feels right for me? What am I sent here to be an expression of? What am I sent here to represent as a human being, as a being at all? And then I bring that. So accept that people are where they are. Accept that on planet Earth there is the matter of free will. <laughs> and simply take your part to the fullest. And learn to not judge yourself and also not judge others. But learn to understand how everything looks if you remove the perspective, perspectives and perceptions. There is so much beauty to be created on this planet. So much. I know that there is a lot of fear and darkness as well. I have learned. I have learned to see this. <laughs> but it's not for me to bring. For me to bring is to... To show what unconditionally love is. To remind me, to remind you, that that's what you are. That's what we all are. That everything is one. Not one as we are walking one direction. Like Hitler wanted us to. But we are one within individually forms. When you being exactly the individual that you were sent here to be. That you were created to be. So today's video. Very short one. Ta -da! Because I also really have to learn how we gonna do this on this new group uh, site and if it's really working and if people can tap in and stuff like that. So guys, please uh, throw a comment and, and let me know if how it works. Like, does it pop up or doesn't it not pop up? <laughs> um, and this video was really because I, I've been feeling a lot what's been going on, especially within people and all the resistance and anger and I also see and feel the prayers they are sent out but the thing is when we send out prayers we need to be in a state of love we need to be in a state of joy and, and openness like our want our de deepest truly wish for for example rain to rain down upon us has to come from a place of unconditionally love of unconditionally care so when we are picturing the rain to fall down, we're picturing it because we love nature, because we love rain. You have to feel the flow of the rain, feel the flow of the joy of everything that is. If we, on the other hand, make a prayer from pain, oh, please rain, because we need the rain, then the emotionally state, the vibration that you hold is not a vibrationally match to what you truly wish to create. So if we as a collective are doing these prayers, we need to remember it has to come from a place of pure love within oneself. Guys, that's gonna be all for today. Uh, please let me know how this thing works, if, uh, if we have to make some changes. Um, let me know how you feel. And also your perception of what I have been telling. And your perception of what is going on on our beautiful planet at this moment. Talk with you soon. Didi!